Often when I'm using my Mac, I notice that I'm running out of memory on my computer and it's slowing things down. I might be getting my little beach ball spinning that's telling me that things are running a bit slow. And I've also got this app called Memory Clean. It's installed and right at the top here, you can see it says it's got 5.28 gigabytes there. And if I click on that, you'll see it comes up with this app and it's showing me how much app memory is being used, the cached files, wired compressed memory, and how much is actually being used. 10.78 gigabytes out of a total of 16, that's quite a lot. So how do I free that up? Well, I can just click on clean memory. I've often seen my memory dropping down to just maybe even just 10, 20 megabytes. It does seem to be chewing it up. And I have to say, since installing Yosemite, I've noticed it a little bit more. So I'm hoping some sort of patch comes along to fix that. But I do use things like Photoshop and Lightroom, and that does use up a lot of memory as well. And sometimes I, when I close things down, it doesn't release that memory back. One of the options that I set is for memory clean to start when I log in. And to do that, I just click on this little gear here, which then allows me to go into my preferences. And I have it switched on right there, start at login. So there is an app and it's called Memory Clean. It is free. You just have to go to the App Store. Here I am in the App Store. I just searched for Memory Clean. This is an app. I'm not endorsing it, but it's the one that I use. Really like it and it does really help free up that memory. And every now and again, I'm just watching this drop here. As it happens, it's going the other way now. It doesn't normally do that. I have noticed lots of pages open in Chrome seems to be doing that. So that's one way you can actually free up your memory. But what if you want to check how much memory you've got and you haven't got this installed to see if maybe that is the problem in the first place? Well, there's something called the Activity Monitor. And you'll find that in your application. So I'm just going to the Finder down the bottom here. So I've clicked on my applications here on the side and I'm going to scroll down to Utilities right down here. There we are. And there's one here called Activity Monitor. I'm just going to double click on it to start it. You can always use Spotlight by clicking here and type in Activity Monitor. And when it comes up, you just have to double click on it there. But I've got it open. You've got these little tabs across the top or buttons and you can see there's one here called memory. You can see everything that is being used here. You can see that there are various ones here and you might actually identify what's using all your memory because it's in this column right here called memory. So you can scroll down and maybe see something that's using a lot and maybe shut it down. There are certain things you'd want to keep open so you can always Google what it is to see what is actually going on there. You can see down here, just like on memory clean, how much memory I've got, how much memory is being used. Virtual memory is how much it's using on the actual computer itself, so it's using the hard drive and so on. So once again, that's a really useful way. And you can see right here how much is being used, which is 10.78. So that's quite a lot. And you can see that at memory right there as well. So that's one quick way. So, you know, if you've got over here, say 15 gigabytes being used, you might be running into a bit of trouble. Go and get memory clean. Dead easy to install and it will stop that beach ball spinning, apps crashing and potentially speed up how quickly you're working.